The plant lantana is a popular choice among people and gardeners around the world. It is widely used in landscaping across cities, grown along the roads, outside buildings and even in our gardens. What people don't know are the problems that come along growing lantana. According to a study in India, it costs about Rs. 14 lakh per square kilometer to prevent lantana's growth. Recent estimates show its invasion to 40% of Indian forests, which means this exercise can cost up to Rs. 40,000 crore today. To put this in perspective, annual allocation to MOEFCC to tackle all environmental challenges, including the menace of lantana, is about Rs. 3,000 crores annually. Native to Central and South America, Lantana entered India in the 17th century. And to understand the depth of the problem, we spoke to Dr. Geeta Ramaswamy. The late uh, 17th, 16th and 17th centuries, uh, there was this fashion amongst uh, European people to collect things from, you know, especially tropical places and sort of transplant them to other places, either their colonies or back uh, on the European continent. Initially grown in the managed areas, it has now escaped and invaded about 3 lakh square kilometer of India. But how did this happen? From what I last read, the first introductions were in the Calcutta Botanical Gardens. But uh, studies have shown that there were multiple points of introduction along the west coast as well as along the east coast. Imagine bringing home a piece of wooden furniture, unaware of a termite infestation in it. And soon enough, you will notice that those termites would have damaged your other wooden items as well. This is exactly what happens when you bring a live lantana in your garden. Lantana or lantana camera is a beautiful ornamental plant, but it outcompetes its neighboring plants and does not let anything grow around it. The colorful flowers attract butterflies and birds that spread its seeds and further aid its uncontrolled growth in the surrounding areas. In fact, that is why lantana is considered among the world's 10 worst weeds. Unfortunately, it also loves the Indian climatic conditions. There's nothing eating this plant, there's no herbivores. Uh, they could form associations with local fauna, such as butterflies, for pollinating their flowers so that there's lots more seeds set. With little favours from the butterflies and birds visiting the flowers, the plant has been expanding itself. Lantana's ability to make dense thickets makes the food underneath it, the grass, forage, inaccessible to the wild animals, especially endangered species such as elephants, gores and deers. This may cause an imbalance in the food chain. Actually, to control the population of a plant, you need to attack the seeds of the plant. So it's actually the invertebrate species. Such species have not started using lantana yet. Interestingly, no animal, no insect is yet known to be attacking lantana, which means that unless this plant is physically uprooted or cut away, there's no way to control it. Recently, a new method is being used to remove lantana. It's called the cut root stock method. In this, the stem three inch under the ground is removed from the roots. This is suggested to be helping in containing the plant's growth, but it's very manual and labor-intensive job. So, if you are wondering, alright, I understand lantana is a problem, but how does that affect me or what can I do? See, if we were to remove all of lantana today, studies suggest it will take up to Rs 40,000 crores. This is roughly 1% of India's annual budget. Money that essentially comes out of our pockets in form of taxes and money that can be better utilized elsewhere. The least we can do is to stop buying or growing lantana in our gardens or outside office buildings. Secondly, forest fires. Some of you may recall the 2019-2020 forest fires from Australia. There are mostly two types of forest fires. One, ground fire. Second, canopy fire. In 2019, what Australia experienced was one of the worst canopy wildfires, killing birds, animals and a number of plant species. India usually experiences ground fires. 
However, certain land tanas grow as climbers on trees and act as fuel ladders, meaning a ground fire can reach the leaves and the branches of the tree, resulting in more ground fires becoming canopy fires. And if this is not enough, not that lantana is only a fiscal or ecological problem, it is a toxic plant. Its leaves cause rashes and skin irritation. The raw berries upon ingestion can cause diarrhea, liver failure and in some cases even death. If you spot lantana outside your building, office or roadside, please share a video or a photo with us in your Instagram stories tagging gardenup.in. We will be happy to reshare it. Hashtag stop planting lantana. Help us spread the word and share with friends and family who would care. Thanks for watching.